Hello my friend, welcome back. My name is Himmel. I'm a speaker and facilitator living in Melbourne. In this video, we're gonna be going through three things that you can do so you can wake yourself up, so you can feel fresh and own the day. The first thing that you can do is you can go outside and expose yourself to natural sunlight. What happens is light enters our eyes and when light enters our eyes, it increases our cortisol levels. It's like signifying to the brain that it's time to be awake and it's time to be energized. And on the other side of that, it decreases the melatonin, which is the sleeping hormone in our body, which makes us feel tired and makes us feel a little bit lethargic, like we're gonna fall asleep. So what it's essentially doing is, is that it's making us feel a lot more awake and making us feel less tired so that we can essentially be a lot more alert throughout the day. Also, as a side note, I remember reading a study last year when we were in lockdown about how those people that had a lot more resilience when they were in lockdown, they spent some time outside in the sun. So just as kind of like a resilience tip, I'd highly recommend that you get some sunlight some point throughout your day anyway, because it will help you feel a lot more resilient and feel like you can actually power through your day a lot more effectively. Number two, have some fruit. Your blood sugar levels in the morning are at its lowest. And when they're low, you lack energy. And so eating a piece of fruit in the morning, because it contains all these natural sugars, it increases our blood glucose level in a really healthy way, which makes us feel a lot more alert and energetic. If you feel like that's a little bit too boring, like just have a piece of fruit in the morning, then what you could do is, is maybe on a Sunday or any other day of the week where you feel like you have a bit of time to do some meal prep, then you can cut up a whole bunch of fruits, chuck them in a bowl and just have like a fruit salad stuck in your fridge that you kind of like just take out of every morning um, and like start your day like that. I feel like that would be like a fun, colorful way to start your day. And number three, drink a big glass of water when you wake up. After a whole night's sleep, you're very likely to be dehydrated. Even a slight level of dehydration causes your brain to actually shrink. And when this happens, our memory focus and mood gets impacted, which we all know is really important. A really quick and easy way that you can test whether you are dehydrated or not is actually by grabbing the back of your hand. Like if you use the back of your hand and you kind of pinch the skin that's on top of it, it's called the skin turga test, I believe, or like the pinch test. And you kind of like just pinch that bit of skin there. And if once you let go, if it kind of drops back into place and there's like no like bulge where you pinch the skin, um, then that's an indication that you are hydrated. But if you pinch the skin for a few seconds and then it takes a while for your skin to kind of go back to normal on the back of your hand, then that's, I think it is a late indication. I think that's what they, I think that's the exact words. It's like the, it's a late indication that you are dehydrated. Um, on that note, I should uh, probably take a, some, some a sip of water. Just, just kidding, this is, this is not water, this is tea. I feel like, I think it's like 70 to 80% of your body is made up of water. Um, and I feel like, I feel like 80% of my body is either coffee or it's tea or it's a combination of both of them. It's, it's bad, I know. But what I'm actively trying to do, and I've done this, especially over the past two weeks, is I've made sure that I've always carried a water bottle on me. And I feel like because I've always got it on me, then I'm always at random points just taking sips throughout the day. And I've found that I've had to refill my water bottle um, close to two or three, more, more likely three times throughout the day, which is making sure that I'm actually getting sufficient water into my body. Um, so if you're someone that struggles to drink water and you feel dehydrated throughout the day, like dehydration also impacts memory focus and so much other things and fatigue as well so like sorry it makes you feel fatigued um, which is what I felt for quite some time especially last month um, but like if you're someone that like struggles with being hydrated then I highly recommend just making sure that you have like have a nice bottle like just have a have a really nice bottle that you just like to drink water out of um, I know there's some bottles that to me just seem like really boring and so like I just didn't use them. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing, but like, I just made sure I, I got myself a nice bottle, and I was like, "Yeah, it's like it's, it's nice to drink water out of this thing," and um, and I'd use that, and uh, and yeah, I'd like got into a habit of drinking water more consistently. So maybe that's something that you can do. By the way, the percentage of people who are dehydrated in the US is around about 75%. In Australia, it's around about 80%. I don't know about other parts in the world, but I, I assume 
based on statistics that most people are dehydrated. So if you're if you're dehydrated right now, then drink some water. Do the do the do the skin turga pinch test and drink some water. All right, I hope those things help you out and you now have like a few tools in your belt that you can use so you can make yourself feel a lot more fresh and a lot more ready to kind of like own the day and power through and be the amazing people that you are. All the love, all the power. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Catch you later.